Hello learners, welcome to our channel Instructors Point. My name is Ishan Kesarwani and I will solve today one question that was asked by the Accenture. So this question was asked in the coding round of the Accenture and the question is as follows. So here we have to implement the fun following function. The function is given to us as a depth difference of sum and which takes two parameters n, comma m. So the function accepts two integers n and m as arguments and we have to find the sum of the numbers in the range of 1 to m and that are div not divisible by n and then we have to return the difference of the integers not divisible by n with the sum of the numbers divisible by n. For example, we have the input as n as 4 and m as 20 then we will have to give as the output as 90. So if you can see the explanation here, some of the numbers divisible by 4 are this, that is uh, the sum of these numbers are 60 and the sum of the numbers which are not divisible by 4 have the sum equals to 150 and the difference is 90. So we need to find out this difference or, and uh, this question was asked by the Accenture. So let's solve it in the, using uh, the Java program. So let's go to our code editor and now I will firstly I will create a new class and the class name will be as difference sum and now let me remove all these now what I have to do is I want to create a method name as difference of sum so first of all I will be creating a method named as difference of sum public int difference of sum and now this method will be taking two parameters so int n comma int m and now we also want a main method which will call this difference of sum method so let me define the main method public static void main string args and then here what I have to do is I have to create the object of this difference sum class and then with that object I will call the difference of sum method so let me first create the object of this class so simply I will write a statement as difference sum is equals to difference sum object is d is equals to new difference sum yes that's all we how we can create the object and now i have to call this difference of sum method so before calling this i need to uh, ask the user to enter these two numbers n and m so for this i will be writing a print statement system.out.println for giving the instruction to the user so as he can enter the numbers enter two integer numbers yes now I will use the scanner class so as to take the input so a scanner sc is equals to new scanner system.in and now to use a scanner class I need to import the scanner.java.util package so right click here and import this package and now I will be taking this input in the n and m variables so int n is equals to sc dot next int and int m is equals to sc dot next int because we only want the integers value so now I will pass these values to our difference of sum method and uh, our object of this class is d so d dot difference of sum and here I will pass n and m. So now as this method is of integer type this will have to return something so I need to have this in some other variable say difference. And now to print the difference I will simply write a print statement system dot out dot print ln and here I will write 
difference is plus diff yes now i have to write a code here so as to return the difference so first of all what i need to do is i need a variable say it is difference and which is initialized to 0 initially and now i will be uh, uh, requiring a variable i so as to traverse through the element still m and uh, a sum variable so i need two sum variables sum1 and sum2 and what is uh, what why i am using the two variables because i have to calculate the sum of the integers which divides the m and others which do not divide m so it uh, let me initialize it with 0 and now i will traverse through the elements up till n so for i is equals to 1 i is less than equals to m and i plus plus and now i have to check if i modulus n is not equals to 0 that is this integer n does not divides uh, the numbers between 1 to m and if it is the case i need to store it in the sum to variable sum 2 is equals to sum 2 plus i and in the else part sum 1 is equals to sum 1 plus i that's all and now i have to calculate the difference so after this for loop i will be calculating the difference so diff is equals to sum 2 minus sum 1 now that's all and i will return this difference return diff yes that's all and let me now run this program so now it is asking me to enter two integers say it is 4 and 20 as was given to us now you can see that the difference is 90 it's absolutely correct as was given to us according to the input and output you can check for other values as well so th thank you for watching this video and if you want to watch more such videos you can go to our placement preparation playlist and there you can find uh, the questions of different MNCs. So thank you. Please like and share this video as much as you can. So thank you.